Hey guys, I'm here to make my week warp up. And first of all, I have to say that this week warp up is going to be. I mean, some of the books I finished this morning because this week I keep saying that my weeks have been hectic and they have. But this week was a no, 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 no week. So, yeah, that's that thing. I also told you guys that I would keep my updates on Tuesdays. Thursdays and Saturdays but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all the work pops on Saturdays so this may or may not be the last one there may be just one more work pop I'm gonna see how things go because depending I may not be able to do this uh, this type of videos but anyway let's talk about the um, books I did uh, finished um, Waking Gods and Only Human by how do you call it? Silent Nouvel. It's book number two and number three of the tennis files. I'm not gonna talk more about this in this video because there's gonna be a video talking about this trilogy because I have a lot to say and I will do a spoilery and non non spoilery and a spoilery part on that on that uh review but it will be i'll tell you guys when the start when the spoils start i'll tell you guys to go away and only stay if you have read it uh i, have, I had one dnf um there is a book that i got from the library because i thought i'm not gonna get books from the library then i had to go to the library to get books for my mom and i was just like I could just get a non-committal bunch of books because that's how bookworms work. You guys know how it is. So uh, the book I got was Incarceron by Catherine Fisher. This was a disappointing. Oh my god, I was so incredibly sad with this book because I had to DNF it because this book is about is in the steampunk world or steampunkish because it has like more futuristic elements apparently than usually steampunk books have um, where there is a prison that is like a, a huge prison that has a mind of itself kinda where it's almost like a different ecosystem uh, it's like a, a city inside a city because things inside there has their own way of um of working it has a, a, some hierarchies gangs all of that and this follows a boy that is inside that uh, that um that prison i think it's called in carceron i i have almost eliminated a lot of it from my mind because it was so bad and a girl named claudia that is the daughter of the 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 person that built the city the build the prison now some of it may be from the translation because this is a portuguese translation and portuguese translations on fantasy can be awful terrible just you guys don't i don't even have words sometimes of how bad they are the it could be a little bit about the translation i'm not i do not know but i do not believe it was all for the translation because I'll give you an example without spoilers in case you you, you could try this um, but it, it, there was inside the prison they were the characters were in a room and they were supposed to get to see one of the chiefs the, and he was not just around the corner they had to leave the room walk a little bit and I think they have to either go up or down a level or enter some kind of space I do not exactly recall but the thing is when they talked with the chief and then came back plus it was also kind of a little bit iffy when they go, went there but then when they came back to the room so they were talking with that chief and they had to get back to the room the, instead of like <laughs> It was so poorly done. How how can I say this? They were talking with the chief. They were starting to leave. There was a character there that 
held the arm of one of the characters to tell them some something and I was just like wait is this character giving this information that the chief probably shouldn't have hear shouldn't probably shouldn't hear but they only like walked a little some steps so all the people that shouldn't hear this information are probably hearing this talk and the character kind of answers shrugs off starts walking and then they are in the room I was so confused I was like wait are you trying to tell me that they what was supposed to happen I reread it and I think that what was supposed to happen was that they were talking with the chief they stopped they start walking they left the room where the chief was they were in a, like a, a safe distance they had that talk and then they walk all the way to the room and I, I as I told you guys I think it was supposed to be like a level up or a level down it was a little bit of a difference get in the room and I, I don't I do not remember if they had mentioned of like being on the bed and closing the door and all of that but what it read like was was as I told you there was no it sounded like the character gave like five steps and was in the room. It was just awful. And that happened. Things like that happened on like I think I I read 35 pages. I couldn't I couldn't do more than that because that kept happening. There was a action sequence at the beginning, the very beginning, that I was so completely lost about it because I couldn't understand most of what was happening but I thought, wait, maybe we aren't supposed to understand exactly what's happening because we are on the prison, there's things that you don't yet know what they are and they're probably gonna explain this after this, you're gonna look back, it's... I thought there was gonna be one of those scenes that it would make sense, but then it would make sense like a little bit inside the book as you get used to the environment where this is happening. But then it just kept getting more and more confused. And the thing is, you don't need to exactly explain everything when you are doing this type of of books where things are very very different from like what you are uh, used to. There is a book. Here's, wait a minute. Let me see if I can grab it. This book I still that I'm gonna reread next year if all goes well because I need to finish. This is the first of a trilogy. This is the Vagrant, by Peter Newman. This gets you in a new, completely different world. Kinda, uh, but it feels completely different. I'm not exactly sure if this is Earth. I do think that this is still Earth. I have read this a long, long time ago. Uh, but it, it's if even if it's Earth, it's like completely different from what we are used to. And things here are completely, completely alien for you. But as you keep reading it things start to make sense. It's one of those books that you are like, what's happening? And then you read a little bit, oh, and then you read a little bit and more and more makes sense. And then you get on the, on the end of the book, everything makes sense. And well, in my case, I do wish to reread this, to have all of it um, on my mind. But this is really, I, I really thought that this was a really good example of doing that and then explaining and, and never you might not understand everything that was happened in each second you may understand it like a couple pages later but the descriptions were good you understood where you were like in the world if you were fight you understood if you were supposed to be in in a room or not that's what i tried to say and everything worked in a way that as you pro progressed into the book you would understand more and more of the world it would make sense this is a completely opposite because a steampunk prison is not the is not that alien of a concept 
and I just kept getting more and more lost with things because it, it, I just I kept to I I, I tried to go f forward with my reading but I was like getting angry <laughs> You know when that happens when I started getting angry with the book and we're like, no, this is not why I read. It's not to getting angry, so I just DNF'd it. Anyway, enough of, of that. <laughs> Put this away. Enough of it. You guys, I think you guys understand by now why I didn't like that book. Uh, and then I listened to two more books from Open Library. Oh, by the way, Open Library is in need of some monetary help because it, it has... It is a free, it's free to use, and I think they do manage things themselves, and they have to upgrade stuff now that with COVID, more and more people are using it because it's free and you can use it on your house. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. Um, I will leave links for it if I manage to get the links for the donation. Um, anyway. I did read one about werewolves. It's Beaten by Kaylee Armstrong. This is a series. It is about a girl that was beaten by uh, a werewolf and is now a werewolf, but she doesn't live with the pack. She's trying to kind of live a human-like life. Uh, but something happens, she gets contacted by the pack and they asked her to go there and she gets involved with what's happening with the drama and all of that. Now, this is a completely enjoyable book. It was very, very interesting, very enjoyable, very nice read. I give it three stars because it's not something like completely blow your mind away. But it's, like I said, very enjoyable, very nice read. Uh, in it, it is a werewolf story. It has some smut in it. It has like some good ideas. It isn't. Uh, I do I have been discovering that I do like werewolf stories more than that I thought, but I still prefer the Mercy Thompson series because it has also other creatures. And I don't know. I I like the dynamic of that pack a little bit better than this one but i think this is one that when i'm in i'm not gonna like continue the series right now but when i'm in mood of a uh, werewolf series that is like a little bit chill because the mercy thompson is anything but chill this one has its drama but it's a little bit more chill I'm probably gonna continue this one and last thing that i read was the darker shade of magic by v schwab this was a reread for me because I needed to to reread it to be able to then continue reading. Um, I do want to finish the trilogy. This is about um, it's on the universe that there are several versions of London: Red London, Grey London, White London, and Black London. And Grey London is supposed to be our London. The others are have more magic. Our is the one that supposedly doesn't have exactly that much magic, almost none. And then the others have more and more magic. And one of them, Black London, being the one that was kind of destroyed, something happened there. And we have a, f a cast of characters. Uh, that is, that is interesting, you have a boy that actually is able to jump between all of those Londons. And you have one of my favorite characters ever, <laughs> that is Delilah Bart. Is, to, be, to be honest, you guys, Gary, so I think I told you guys already that I do like rogues, bards and pirates. And Delilah Bart is a rogue that is called Bart that wants to be a pirate, so... She says such things as there isn't too many knives, so she's perfect. <laughs> I did uh, I did enjoy the, this one, it's still a four-started reread for me. I had a little bit of an issue with the, um, with the romance. 
not a fan. I there's nothing there. <laughs> it's it's very it's it's not important to the at least for the first book. The romance part is really not important. But it's so forced. I really really did not enjoy the romance part of it. Uh the rest enjoyed it. Fun, not perfect, very predictable, but this is why why YA fantasy. I'm still gonna finish this because I I need more the lot about on on my on my life. And yeah, this is about it, guys. I have gone way too mo too far into my rent. So yeah, bye, guys.